collecting lab samples from cats is best done with minimal handling to prevent fear and struggling. Make the cat as comfortable as possible, allowing the cat to remain in the most natural position possible and without stretching or holding legs tightly. Have a blanket or something soft for the cat to lie on, preferably one that smells like home. Thicker non-skid fluffies placed underneath the home towel are best for arthritic and underweight cats to provide soft padding underneath them. Cats can also be gently wrapped in a towel to help them feel more secure. The American Association of Feline Practitioners recommends that senior cats have diagnostic tests, including blood pressure measurement, venipuncture, and cystocentesis. Many clients prefer to watch collection of these lab samples. Having the owner present eliminates the worry about what is happening to their cat in the back. It often calms the cat and increases client respect and perception of value to watch the collection of lab samples. When blood pressure measurements are indicated, it should be performed before other diagnostic tests while keeping the patient as relaxed and calm as possible to avoid white coat hypertension. Measuring blood pressure is usually best performed in the examination room because the cat needs approximately five to 10 minutes to acclimate to a room each time it is moved. Preferably, the client should be present. If the client is anxious, ask the client to step out to the reception area instead of taking the cat to the back. More detailed information is provided in the American College of Veterinary Internal Medicine Hypertension Guidelines. Blood pressure readings can be taken from either front, antebrachium, or back, hock, legs, or one inch from the base of the tail. The latter option is an excellent approach for arthritic cats and for those cats that are more fearful when they see what is happening. If using either front or back leg, instead of pulling the leg forward, place a hand gently behind the leg, for example, the elbow, and push the leg forward to keep the cat more comfortable and to prevent the cat from withdrawing the leg during the procedure. Blood pressure measurements should be taken wherever the cat is most comfortable, whether it is a lap, in a carrier, or in some other comfortable place. Catprofessional.com is an excellent website providing pictures and more information on blood pressure measurement. Collect the smallest amount of blood that is actually needed and based on your diagnostic laboratory. Regardless of which vein is used to collect the blood sample, most patients need only one person to hold them during the collection. In fact, some veterinarians can collect samples from the jugular vein with no additional assistance. Many cats tolerate jugular collection very well. This collection site enables you to collect a large sample quickly. Other cats prefer not having to see the sample collection and better tolerate collection from the medial saphenous or the cephalic veins. Using a butterfly catheter will prevent collapse of these smaller veins if a large blood sample is needed. Urine should be collected by cystocentesis, except in very rare cases. Hold the cat in as comfortable a position as possible without pulling or stretching the legs. Although most veterinarians and technicians prefer placing the cat on an examination or treatment table to perform the cystocentesis, the procedure can also be performed with one person holding the cat in the lap. You can download an article on cystocentesis in cats, which is free and available also at catprofessional.com. This is an excellent educational resource and illustrates how to perform cystocentesis with the cat in different positions. Once these cat-friendly handling techniques are utilized at your facility, the vast majority of cats will respond favorably, and you, your team, cat owners, and of course cats, will benefit from your newfound methods.